Hey guys, and welcome to another Blender Quick Tips tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to extrude curves along other curves and uh, various other features that curves have. All right, so what we're going to do here first is we're going to go into the interface, and we're going to select all of these things and just delete them just to keep them out of the way and keep the interface nice and simple. Um, we're going to go in here, and we're going to go Shift-A, and then we're going to add a curve. And I'm going to go ahead and add a path. This will work with any two curves, but for right now, I'm just going to use path. You can see when you tab into it that there are a bunch of vertices and you can pull them around just like any other vertice except they have a little bit of extrusion and they kind of go along this and as you move the vertices around you see the path start to form and it basically just finds the sort of average between these two points and then puts a path there from there and it makes it all a nice curved and natural flowing path. Path. And so if we go out of here, you can see here I've just made this really basic shape and just randomly extruding some stuff. I'm going to go into uh, add another curve and I'm going to add a circle here. Now this circle is going to be sort of swept along this line or extruded upon this line. And this is helpful for making tubes in, in certain rigs, characters, and all sorts of spaceships and things, and a few other things. Um, and it's just a really helpful modeling tool when you're doing things quick on the fly. And you can even keep it as a curve, and so that way it can deform naturally and your tube can move around and it still contains these, you know, tube deformation kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and select this, and I've just moved the circle out of the way. It doesn't really matter where it is because it will only be extruded along this line unless we extrude it along multiple lines, which you can do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this path here, and um, I'm going to go down here over into the Properties panel. I'm going to go over to Curve Settings. Then I'm going to go over to where it says Bevel Object. I'm going to select the object that I want to extrude along, so in this case, the circle, and there we go. It's simple as that. And if we uh, tab Z, just so uh, we can see it in wireframe mode, you can see it has a lot of vertices. If this is going to be pretty intensive on your scene, and you might not want, you know, the tube to have, I mean, it looks very nice, but when a high-poly model comes into Blender and you don't have that good of a computer, or even if you do have a good computer, it's always helpful to remove a lower poly count, and it's really easy to do that by changing this down in the preview. And so as you see here, one pretty much just gives me this basic path. And then as you go up with the preview, it will slowly make it nicer and nicer. It's basically like Subsurf, except it's handled a little bit better on your computer because it's a curve object and not an actual mesh object, which means while the vertices are there, they're not generated the same way, so there's not as much lag on your system, which is the great thing about curves, too, is they prevent a lot of lag that a normal mesh would have. So I'm going to turn this back up to 12. And... Um, uh, you all can see here that, wow, yeah, I like this circle here, but, you know, let's say I wanted to have, like, a wing or something. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these, and a wing is just as easy. So let's say you want the wing to kind of come out in the middle here, and then it kind of tapers off a little bit like this. So this is the kind of wing shape, I guess. And if you don't get what I'm talking about, you'll get it in a minute. So, and this is the kind of the wing from the the front view, so to speak, if I if I cut a bird's wing in half, God forbid, then it would look something like this. And so then we take this wing extrusion path, as we call it, and sorry if I'm getting a little lost here, this is about to make sense in a second, and we're going to go down here, and once again we're going to change the bevel object to Bezler Curve this time, and see there, voila, you have a nice surface like this. This is helpful for car modeling. It is very helpful for car modeling. A good portion of car modeling you will actually do with curves because it's just a natural flowing object that, you know, has airfoils. And this is basically an airfoil. And so this is fantastic. If you go in wireframe mode, once again, you can see there's a lot of vertices here, but no lag because, of course, curves function a different way than um, mesh vertices. But I'm not going to get into that right now. So you can see here, you've just made a basic airfoil. And uh, so now that we have that, let's see what else we can do with curves, because there is a bunch more. So the other main thing you can do here is, of course, I'm going to take our classic path back out in our classic little circle here, scale it down a little bit just to make it a nice and small one, and I'm going to bevel this again. And you're saying, wow, this is a basic tube, but what if I want a tube that kind of gets shrinks smaller as it goes to one end? Well, that's not a problem either. Let's move another path over here. This is our third path. So, yeah, this things can get a little bit cluttered sometimes, and I'm going to just make this path a lot simpler with a lot less vertices. Now, if you move this up, so, you know, say I want it to taper along this way, so as it gets extruded along this pipe, it gets smaller and smaller. That's really easy to do, too. If we go back over here and select our tube now that we've made with the extrusion along the path, we can go into Taper Object, and then we select that second path, and bam, just like that, it is a beautiful tapered cone like a unicorn horn or something if you wanted to do that, or uh, so many other applications. But um, if I also wanted to do this, is really cool, I can go here, and then go with this. So now basically, your origin is pretty much the, um, the place 
where these are getting extruded along. It's almost like revolving this around, if you know what revolves are. And if you don't, I'm sure I have another tutorial that will cover that later. But, so you can see here, I can add in a bunch more stuff. And let's see, subdivide this. And, you know, you can get this weird-looking shaped thing. I'd, some kind of rocket missile head thing. Pretty cool-looking stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it just looks really cool and... You know, I don't know, just a really interesting looking vase, I guess, or something, or weird wine glass, or anything of the sort. But, you know, you can do that. And uh, I believe you can also do this with other paths, but I don't believe you can do this with circles. Yeah, with circles, it just kind of ends up acting like the circle's a path, and it'll make a cone again, basically. So, that's it for Curves today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching.